Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to my Star Wars Battlefront Top 5 Tips for Getting Higher Number of Kills. This video contains all the hints and tips I've picked up playing the Star Wars Battlefront beta, which hopefully will help anyone out who has never played the game before, is not used to playing any kind of shooter game, or maybe is struggling to get high kill score on the leaderboards. Now before we start, I just want to say that this guide is based solely on the beta version, so some of these tips might not be useful for the final game, but hopefully some of them will carry over and you can continue to use them. The first thing, and probably the most important thing you're going to look out for when playing Star Wars Battlefront, is your playstyle. Now the reason I chose this tip first is it's probably the biggest reason why you are not getting as many kills as you would like on Star Wars. And the first and biggest decision you have to make is whether you're going to play in first person or third person. Personally, I struggle to adjust to playing third person because I guess I'm used to playing first person shooters and it kind of feels uncomfortable to play in third person now that I've been playing in first person for such a long time. But in Star Wars, it is essential that you play in third person and there are several reasons for that. The first one being the obvious, you get a better field of view, so it can stop you from being flanked from the side, as you can see further. Also, the higher camera angle gives you a better look behind rocks, hills, etc, and you can still hide behind them and see over the top of them. So that's kind of the main reason, it's very simple. Now the second reason that you should play in third person is got to do with the main choice of weapon in the game, and that is the DLT-19 which we will cover in a second, and playing in third person definitely gives you an advantage with that gun. So that brings us on to tip number two, and that is gun selection. Like I just said, the best gun to use in this game without a doubt is called the DLT-19. It's the only choice that you should be using, and it's the combination, fire rate, damage, and range pretty much make it unstoppable. Now there are three other guns available in the beta, but to be honest, after using all three, they do not compare at all to the DLT-19. And that, again, is for several reasons. Although personally it's not my favourite gun, it's definitely the one that you should be using to get yourself the most amount of kills. Now the biggest reason why you should be using this gun is essentially something that I hope that they take out of the final game, because it makes all other guns that they have available sort of useless. And that is because the range of the weapon is way too high and what I find for most games is that people camp on top of mountains and they can take out players halfway across the map and the game itself offers no penalties for accuracy or damage when you're moving or when you constantly fire and that along with well-timed cooldown you get essentially unlimited ammo and so what I find most people just kind of stand really far away run side to side and they can kill you with spraying from really really far off and unless you're using the DLT-19 as kind of a countermeasure against it you don't stand a chance with any other weapon and like I said you can counter it if you have yourself a DLT-19 like you can see in this clip but it does make all other guns in the game pointless so far so hopefully that's something that they change in the final version from the beta but it's not guaranteed and the next thing is cards, and this is pretty easy. You should be using grenades, obviously. It's a shooting game, you want to get as many kills as you can, so you have to use grenades. And with the limited amount of cards available for the game for your loadout, um, I would choose the jetpack and personal shield. And that is just to get you out of any tight situations that you might be in. And also the jetpack can get you up to high places, which like I said, is good with the DLT-19. Alright, these next three tips hopefully will transfer definitely over to the final game. The first one is learn the map. Every map you play is essentially the same, especially on Walker Assault. So with spawn points and data points, etc. being the same place every time, you should be able to memorize exactly where the best spots are to get kills, because you'll find that people tend to stick together in certain places, and you can use that to your advantage to get good amount of kills. The second part of learning the map, especially on Walker Assault again, is learn the locations of all of the turrets, because you can easily rack up a good amount of kills using the turrets 
like I said, on places where people tend to join together, especially at data points. Also, learning where the turrets are will help you avoid being killed yourself by turrets, and, and staying alive will help you get more kills. Now, one of the main things in the game you will find are pickups just lying around the map, and when it comes to getting more kills, I find some of these to be good and some of them to be just kind of pointless. Now, the things I find to be kind of pointless to be in if you're just trying to get a good amount of kills are X-Wings, the ATAS, things like that. You know, you're probably better to spend your time focusing on getting kills against other players rather than in vehicles. Now, and not everyone might agree with that, but that's definitely the way I feel about it. But not all pickups are pointless, such as the at, -AT With its heavy weapons and definitely its airstrike ability, you can easily pick up a decent amount of kills in the limited time you get in them. So that's definitely one to watch out for. And obviously the best pickup that everyone will look for are hero cards, which allow you to play either as Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, depending on which side you're on, and if you come across a group of players, then you can easily decimate them all and rack up your kill tally. So make sure to look out for those. And finally on pickups, anything that can be placed or thrown can easily make a difference or fired, as you will see in this clip here, which helped me win that game. Now the final tip is just some general advice for playing. With every game, you are limited by time, so you want to spend as much time in the action as possible to get as many kills as you can. And with Star Wars, you get a cool feature, which is a teammate. And having a teammate helps you in two ways. Number one, if you have a teammate, you survive longer because you can stick together, you can kill enemies together. It's definitely something I've found easier to get kills with. And number two, the spawn points on the beta are kind of really uh, out of the way. And with having a teammate, you can spawn directly to them when you die. So instead of spending time walking to the main action from the spawn point, you can spawn straight into the action and maybe pick up a few extra kills in the time you have saved. So just two Quick final bits of advice, practice and practice your cooldowns because like I said at the start, if you can get your timing right for your cooldowns, you essentially have unlimited ammo, which can be the difference between killing and being killed, especially if you're 1v1 against someone. So it's definitely worth practicing. And finally, don't forget to make use of your radar. Every time your opponent fires a shot, it shows up on your radar as red and you can use that to your advantage to see where your opponent is so you can either hunt them or to make sure that you're not being flanked or killed from behind. Alright guys, I hope you learned something useful from this video. I do have to say again, just keep in mind that all of these tips are based solely on the beta. So the gameplay, weapons, cards, classes, etc are all limited. So who knows what the final game will be like, but hopefully some of these tips will carry over to the final game. All right, we're going to finish by putting some of these skills into action and you guys can see what it takes to come first place on kills. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.
escape pod will soon be under our control. Another pod has landed. Secure it.
identified the position of another skip. around the escape pod and claimed it. We have the location of another pod. Escape pod. <laughs> 